going to sublimate onto some stainless steel pub style openers here like this. This is an actual sublimation blank. I'll walk you through it coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop and what I'm going to be doing today is uh, I've got to make a few of these pub openers or stainless steel and these are sublimation blanks that can be purchased from InnoSub USA which is a company I buy a lot of my sublimation blanks from. There'll be a link in the description of where to get these. You can't just take a regular stainless steel pub opener to sublimate to it. It has to have the sublimation coating on it. So. I've got some graphics made. I'm going to get them prepped and I'll walk you through the process here. Okay, the dimensions of the area where you can sublimate to, actually you can sublimate to the whole thing, but you obviously you have openings. So I am going to be sublimating onto the center section here and I'm going to be doing it on both sides. So, inch and a half, four inches. I've got some different graphics here printed. I've also got some printed for another project. That'll be the subject of another video for some can koozies that'll be following here in a few days. But I need to do some cutting and trimming and getting these all down to size first. Okay, I've got my graphics cut down to size here. And it's just a matter of putting them on. I'm going to use a little heat tape here on the end this way to hold that in place. So that it doesn't shift when I do the other side. Now we'll hold that there so I can turn this over. Place my graphic on the other side. Get it centered. Then I'll take heat tape and just lap around it. So that one's ready to go. Let me pull that piece back off because it's sticking to me. Okay, those there were, the first one I did was a black and white, or I should say black. This here will be color. I'll be doing the same type of thing. I have not done color on these before, so this will be a new experience. I've only done black. We'll have to see how well the color shows up on this silver background. This here is a graphic, of course it's uh, mirrored. Okay, I'll take these over to the heat press. Okay, I got a piece of paper down. I'm using this press because it's small and it heats up quick and I've only got a little project to do here. Don't need to fire up the big one. So we'll lay these in there. Yeah, I know I got two different kinds of sublimation paper, but both work the same. I like the inner sub, but a sub was in one of the printers. I didn't want to change it. Put a piece of paper on top. Clamp it down. Heavy pressure. 360 degrees. 90 seconds. Okay, we're ready here. You definitely want gloves. These are going to be blazing hot and they will burn you big time. And do not hot peel. You will, they will ghost. Let them cool off. So we'll let those cool for a little bit and then we'll take a look at them. Okay, these have cooled off somewhat. Oh, this is one of the ones in color. It's uh, well, I think the colors could have been a little more vivid on there, but this was uh, this being a silver background, it's going to be tough to get that to show up good. Let me grab the uh, the black on silver because I've done those before. I know how they turn out. That was my first time doing one in color. So 
So there we are with the black on silver. Of course that always come, looks better and comes out better. Jane's personal bottle opener. These make great gifts for people. So there's a couple examples of what you can do with uh, these stainless steel bottle openers or sublimation. And as I said, these are actual sublimation blanks. They're not just regular stainless steel pub openers. Uh, the coating on there is very good. I've, I've done these before. I've never had a complaint with anybody saying that it rubs off or washes off. And I know that one fellow in particular uses it in a bar and hangs this off his belt on a retractable lanyard and uses it constantly and he hasn't had any problem with it wearing off. His was done in black just like this one here was and the uh, the black shows up a whole lot better on the stainless steel. I just wanted to try all this here in color to see how it would come out. Uh, I've got somebody that's a home brewer I'm going to be giving those to. Uh, this here is a gift for someone as well. But there again, if you like to make these, they're not that expensive. They make great gifts. And there'll be a link in the description where to get them. I'm not sponsored by Intersub by any means. I buy this stuff. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.